some dark and cold there is a spirit who brings a fire ignites a candle and makes his own carry your candle run to the darkness see brother see how he's tried to light his own candle some other way see now my sister she's been robbed and lied to she still holds a candle with powder flame stay here in this amazing energy that's almost making me fall over it's so it's so amazing so just take a deep breath and just for a moment bring your candle back down to eye level heart level and look at that candle you identified something a few moments ago that is keeping you from living fully this illuminated life that you came here to live so as you now let that go look into this candle and replace that fear that doubt that whatever it was that limited thought whatever it was that unchrist like idea let it go right now and replace it with this flame of love 
and of beauty and of peace and of wholeness and of abundance, health, joy, or whatever else God within you calls for you to express more fully in this world. See that right now in the light. Put it, you don't have to put it in the light because it's already there, but see it in the light. And once you have your qualities that you've put in that light, that you see in that light, then let's lift our candles one more time. And know that we are raising not just these candles, but we are raising the energy of love, the energy of peace, the energy of harmony, the energy of wholeness, the energy of abundance, the energy of health and vitality, the energy of the divine. Now take a look around. Take a look around at the magnificence in this room. And know that there are millions of people across this planet who are doing exactly the same thing tonight. Who are raising their candles to the light of the Christ idea. So let's bring these candles down one more time. Realize that when we add our candle to the candle next to us, 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 to the candle out there, and out there, and out there, and out there, that we have a chance to make a huge difference in the world for good. So take this divine idea that you've just had, this light of love and peace and prosperity and joy and vitality that you have recognized in your candle and now bring it in you, realizing that you don't really need to bring it in because it's already there, but in this moment we realize it. We accept it. And we make the choice to live from it. See the candle now moving into your heart and igniting that flame, that light of the Christ in you tonight. Tonight. Tonight, the Christ is reborn. Right here and right now. For this, we give thanks. For this, we say hallelujah. Mm-hmm, I like that. <laughs> and so it is. So it is. When you feel ready, you may sit down. And although you're extinguishing this physical candle, know that it burns brightly in your heart from this moment forward. Now all of this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet saying, Behold, a virgin shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. The Christ child was birthed that night so long ago, and the Christ consciousness, the light of love, was birthed in this room this very night. The light of love has been illumined in our hearts. Let's now take the final leg of our journey and unwrap the gift. So gather round, everyone. I think all of us are here, and Mary has something she'd like to share. <laughs> Mary, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry we're late. Why, we got a little lost. Well, I'm really glad you made it. You know, I do have something really important to tell all of you. First, I want to thank all of you for sticking by the company the last few weeks. It's been nothing short of a miracle. And, well, just this morning, I received the most amazing Christmas gift I could have ever imagined. Our creditors have accepted our plan, and we're still in business. Yay! Yay! Wonderful, wonderful. Mary, I, I, I know I've had a change of heart. I don't want to leave the company. I want to keep working for you. Will you let me stay? Of course, Jude. How would we ever run the company without you? <laughs> hey, it's time to celebrate. Where are the gifts? 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 What, what, what gifts? gifts? What gifts? What gifts? 
Mel, Cash, and I got a little something for all of you. Mm. Great. Oh, Just awesome. to let you, you know how incredible each of you are, how much we value you, and just how overall absolutely amazingly amazing you are. <laughs> now, don't open your gifts just yet. We wanted to get you something to remind you how wonderful you were so that when you're feeling discouraged or feel like complaining or get in a bad mood. Or if you don't feel like getting up in the morning or maybe even giving up. Mm -hmm. Just remember how you feel right now. <laughs> And know how important each and every one of you yeah. is to the world. Okay. Wow, this is really amazing. What a beautiful little box. <laughs> <laughs> My glasses! Sarah, where on earth were they? Where did you find them? Oh, thank goodness. Finally, now I can see. <laughs> Does everyone have a gift? No, here, no, we don't. I think we do. Fantastic. Okay, everybody, let's all open our presents together, okay? All right. Look, there's oh. a little note inside. Look what it says. You are the light. Hallelujah, we are all the light. <laughs> 